Praise the Lord, everyone. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Man, I want to thank each of you for joining with us for Tuesday's Daily Bible Study, coming from Charlene's Outreach Ministries. We have a great lesson for today. Do not worship false God. Do not worship false God. And our lesson is coming from Deuteronomy 13, verses 6 through 18. Have a wonderful and powerful lesson. But before we get started, I want to ask if anything is said, touches your heart, soul, or spirit, or you have any questions or comments, please feel free to jot them at the bottom of the screen below, and I will get to them as soon as possible. Also, if you would, subscribe to my channel and join with us as we gather together to study and meditate on the word of the Lord. Amen. We're going to get ready to move into our lesson, but first we're going to have prayer. Dear God in heaven, we thank you, Father. We thank you, Father, that you have done, you is doing, and you shall do in each of our life. We give you the glory, the honor, and the praise, Father. We thank you that you are our all in all, Father. We ask you to forgive us of our sins, Father. And, 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 Lord, we, we thank you that through your grace and mercy, we shall not go back over the same sins over and over again in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we ask you to strengthen us, build us up where we're weak in our name, Father. Hold us in the holy care of your hand in Jesus' name. Lord, we thank you that as we go into your word, Father, that you would open our eyes that we see, our ears that we hear, and give us wisdom, knowledge, and understanding from on high. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. All right, as we stated our lesson, do not worship false gods. Coming from Deuteronomy 13, verses 6 through 18. And the scripture lesson takes read, If your brother, the son of your mother, or your son, or your daughter, or the wife you embrace, or your friend who is as your own soul, entices you secretly, saying, let us go and serve other gods, which neither you nor your fathers have known. Some of the gods of the peoples who are around you, whether near you or far off from you, from the one end of the earth to the other. You shall not yield to him or listen to him, nor shall you I pitifully pity him, nor shall you spare him, nor shall you conceal him, but you shall kill him. Your hand shall be first against him to put him to death, and afterward the hand of all the people. You shall stone him to death with stones, because he sought to draw you away from the Lord your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of slavery. And all Israel shall hear and fear, and never again do any such wickedness as this among you. You shall surely put the inhabitants of that city to the sword, devoting it to destruction all who are in it and its cattle with the edge of the sword. You shall gather all its spoil into the midst of its open square and burn the city and all its spoil with fire as a whole burnt offering to the Lord your God. It shall be a heap forever. It shall not be built again. None of the devoted things shall stick to your hand that the Lord may turn from the fierceness of his anger and show you mercy and have compassion on you and multiply you as he, as he swore to your fathers. If you obey the voice of the Lord, your God, keeping all his commandments that I am commanding you today and doing what it is, what is right in the sight of the Lord your God. Amen. This is a great and wonderful lesson. As we look at this lesson and see that uh, this lesson is telling us, you know, in the Old Testament times, if someone even tempted you to uh, go astray uh, and worship another God, you were to bring it to the other people excuse me, and you were to uh, kill them uh, because in doing so, uh, uh, it would let the other people know 
what would happen to them if they did it so they wouldn't do the evil thing themselves. As we see, it is the policy of Satan to try to lead us to evil by those whom we love, who we least suspect of any ill design, and whom we are desirous to please and apt to conform to. The enticement here is supposed to come from a brother or child who are near by nature, from a wife or friend who are near by choice and are to use us, our souls. But it is our duty to prefer God and religion before the nearest and dearest friend we have in the world. We must not, to please our friends, break God's law. Thou shalt not consent to him, nor go with him, not for company or curiosity, not to gain his affection. It is general rule, if sinners entice thee, consent thou not, Proverbs 1 and 10, and we must not hinder the course of God's justice. We are not doing those, we don't kill people in that uh, as they did in those days, but we are to be mindful of what a person is going to do and where you you are let you are allowing them to lead you off into. And as you do so, then you will know that you are not to go forward into things that uh, can tempt you or draw you away. We are not to uh, fall into areas that will tempt us away. Amen. Verses uh, thirteen and eighteen said. <clears throat> verse 12 to 18 said, if you hear in one of your cities which the Lord your God has given you to dwell there, that certain worthless fellows have gone out among you and have drawn away the inhabitants of their city, saying, let us go and serve other gods which you have not known, then you shall inquire and make such search and act diligently and be behold, if it be true and certain that such an abomination was uh, has been done among you, you shall surely put the inhabitants of that city to the sword, devoting it to destruction, all who are in it and its cow with the edge of the sword. You shall gather all its spoil into the midst of its open square and burn the city and all its spoil with fire as a whole burnt offering to the Lord your God. It shall be a heap forever. It shall not be built again, nor none of the devoted things shall stick to your hands, that the Lord may turn from the fierceness of his anger and show you mercy and have compassion on you and multiply you as he swore to your fathers. If you obey the voice of the Lord your God, Keep all his commandments that I am commanding you today and doing what is right in the sight of the Lord your God. Amen. As we see, uh, 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 we know here that even uh, then they would destroy cities because of this. And this here reminds me of uh, Saul, Saul, who uh, was... Uh, uh, pulling down and and going after the Christian, uh, those that were or uh, that was following Christ, uh, this is in his mind was what he was doing. He was doing what the scriptures were saying to do, and he felt that they was pulling him up, them away from their God, and so he was going to destroy them. He wasn't gonna let it uh, just sit there even though he was in the wrong. So we have to seek God to make sure uh, that we are doing the right thing. As we see, the, and here is the case of a city revolting from God, from the God of Israel and serving other gods. The crime is supposed to be committed by one of the cities of Israel, even when they were ordered to preserve their religion by force Yet they were not allowed to bring others to it by fire and sword. Spiritual judgment under the Christian dispensation are more terrible than the judgments under the Christ, uh, under the execution of criminals. We have not less cause than the Israelite had 
to fear the divine wrath. Let us then fear the spiritual adultery of covetness and the love of worldly pleasure and be careful not to con continuance them in our families, in our home, by our example or by the education of our children. May the Lord write this law and truth in our hearts. They are set up his throne and shed abroad his love. Amen, amen. As we know, we should need to make sure that we do not allow things to uh, fester in our home. When we see things uh uh, that it, that is being that is going wrong that is not of the Lord. We need to discipline and take note of it and and work with this because when you allow it to to stay and and linger on, uh, it gets worse and worse. And that's uh, this is, it is a sin and it becomes something that can, it be, turns into something to kill. Amen. This is a great and wonderful lesson. I pray you meditate on this lesson and have a great and blessed day. God bless you.